Good day, paddlers! Today, we are going to be taking a look at a helmet donated by WRSI. WRSI is known for their safety research as well as their techniques in developing safety equipment. Um, team tested and approved. This helmet is suitable for creek boating, play boating, um, and a variety of whitewater athletics. I'm trying to not use some common words that I have been using too frequently. Fantastic, wonderful, great. So we'll see how well this review goes with my limited vocabulary. The WRSI helmet is a, uh, it's a plastic composite shell, polycarbonate perhaps. I didn't read all the instructions or details, perhaps I should have. Um, I'm going to pause this really quick and I'm going to take a look, I'll be right back. Okay, so I read online, this helmet, I have no idea what it's made of. Composite, polycarbonate, I'm guessing that it is some type of polycarbonate carbonate composite. Um, however, here are some interesting tidbits that you might find informative. Uh, the helmet was a design and a production set about because a paddler named Lucas Brandon Turner passed away on a river in Idaho. They don't name the river, um, just that it was extreme, very difficult. And his family was looking for answers as to why he died. And so a couple of doctors at John Hopkins University uh, started researching and developing uh, methods to create a safer helmet. This helmet is the result of all of that research. They believe that it is the safest whitewater helmet uh, in the world. I don't know if that is true, but I would believe uh, or be inclined to believe that they could be correct from the designs and some of the features on this helmet. Um, so, here are some of the features. Obviously, like most helmets, it's gonna um, feature a back band that goes around the base of the back of the head. That back band is gonna cradle the back of your head to keep the helmet firmly in place. Unlike a lot of helmets, and I kinda like this, um, on most helmets there's a dial or some type of locking mechanism in the back of the helmet that's gonna make that, um, that mechanism stay, stay firm. This helmet does not feature that locking mechanism. Instead, this helmet, sorry, I had a bunch of sushi today, a ridiculous amount of sushi, and it's, it's catching up with me. So, um, this helmet's back band is actually secured by the same strap that um, goes through the, the chin mechanism here, uh, you know, for, for your chin, safe, safety on your chin. So if you pull the chin strap, you'll see that one moves. So you definitely need to get this fitted for your head, and then it's set. Um, you're not going to be wanting to pass this helmet from buddy to buddy, because it's definitely going to have a fit just for you, which is good. So, the helmet's outfitting comes with, I mean, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a big wad of goodies here. I don't know if you can see that. Lots of little pads. There's several of these larger, kind of like orange peel dome-shaped pads that go in there to make the helmet a tighter fit. Right out of the box, this thing fits me pretty well. So, I mean, I can toss it on, and, and I don't think I would add any of those pads. I think I'd just wear it just like this. Um, it's pretty lightweight. The, the once, once on your head, it's got these two plastic uh, pieces that come out of the back here. And once on your head, it feels very snug, very secure. The visor's not too big, so it's gonna block a little bit of sunlight and it's gonna shed the water nicely so it's not dripping right in your face like a skull cat from, uh, from some of the other companies. I have one from, uh, uh, yeah, spacing on the name. Um, come on, James, come on. Grateful Heads, man. Okay, I had some sushi and a little bit of sake. Anyway, um, so, this is the, uh, the, the, the young guns, shooting guns here design. Get a little pistol ear action. I like, the, I like those pistols, because I'm a western, you know, I'm a cowboy. Hey. Uh, so, there you have it, WRSI helmet. I think it's a pretty solid helmet. Uh, I've heard from many people that this is the very safest helmet in the industry. So, 
there you have it. The top of the line of this model as far as the painting and the designs, your WRSI helmet. This is going to be out to be one at the 2010 or 2011, excuse me, Professor Paddle Ball. We also have a couple of other neat little knickknacks and uh, whatnots from WRSI. Uh, oh, also, this helmet comes with a kind of cool carrying bag. So you've got a little tote pouch that, uh, you know, it's got the mesh sides to drain the water. And, of course, the big WRSI logo. So you can always carry your helmet in style. Slides right in there. So, knickknacks and paddy wax, what do we got? All right, so our knickknacks and paddy wax are these little... WRSI, we got some stickers from WRSI, you'll be able to snatch some of those. And these little whistles, they're pretty cool. Uh, they're made by chums, it looks like. It's a, um, what's that little thing inside called? P, a P, it's a P-less whistle. So you don't have one of those little balls that bounces around. Usually they're made out of cork or rubber or something. Uh, no ball, ballless. We'll have these ballless whistles at the ball. Um, P-whistle. Everyone should have one, especially the kids. Loud, tough, peeless whistle. There you have it. WRSI Chums Rescue Whistle. So there will be a few of those out at the ball. We'll toss them out to Hungry Hands, Hungry Hands. And we look forward to donating uh, all of the proceeds from this helmet to our two charity focuses. And good luck winning this WRSI helmet out at this year's Professor Paddle Ball.